morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're watching this. But either way, welcome to another episode of our review series. Behind me, I have something extremely special. We have Scott over there, man in the camera, and obviously we have me doing weird hand movements and stuff. So if you've watched any of these episodes before, you would definitely ascertain that I like rally stuff, I like old Fords, and I love Japanese nuggets. But what few of you know is I absolutely love my Porsches. I love them. Every single one I've driven, I've loved apart from boxsters no offense and everyone to look at is incredible apart from boxsters no offense and this one in particular is very nice it's a 1979 carrera shell it's had a few little aesthetic mods it's maritime blue it's got a little chin spoiler carrera s spoiler we're not sure if it was a factory option on this one but either way it's ever slightly bigger a bit more of a duck built and looks proper it's lowered on fox wheels hopefully i'm saying that right and bilstein coilovers on the inside got a little half cage club sport vibes obviously porsche really nicely upholstered we'll get to them when we drive it obviously but from factory this would have had a three liter flat six engine which would have produced around 200 204 horsepower and revved to about 7000 rpm Obviously, we're dream cars. We like a bit of spice, don't we? Like, like grinding all that black pepper on there. We like, like a bit, of, bit of Tabasco. So obviously, it's got something a bit different in here. It's still a Porsche engine. It's still a flat six, but it's actually a 964 RS engine, which originally was a 3.6 and produced around 260 horsepower. But come on, we're dream cars. We needed to turn up the Scovilles a bit. So this has had a little bit of work done. So it's now 3.8, so we've got different pistons, different, different stroke, loads of headwork, so different cams, flows a lot better. There's a nice carbon intake on there, which I'm sure Scott will show you in a minute. It's still air-cooled but is now obviously a 3.8 and produces 300 horsepower. Now, enough of looking at this thing and saying how pretty it is. Again, if you've watched these before, I'm the lucky son of a that gets to drive them. So let's go for a drive, Scott. You're gonna be my passenger princess. Come on, come on, Scott. on a bit of a uh, private land today well we normally are we're always on private land so what is it like to drive obviously it's very good my seating position I've got it just how I wanted the steering wheel a little bit far away and my knees are already hitting because again if you've seen these before I have long gangly legs and a really short body quite a weird shape now I'm, I'm joking yeah I've just got quite long legs but I am kicking the steering wheel a smaller one could be a little bit better or maybe even a bit of a spacer there so I've got a bit more room for my nobular knees. But what's it like? So in one of these, the throttle brake and clutch pedals, you do have three pedals in a manual car because this is a manual, um, are actually floor mounted, a lot like a race car. So you actually roll your foot rather than pushing your leg. So you shouldn't need to push your leg too much so the steering wheel issue shouldn't be an issue. Um, obviously that lovely 3.8 engine at the back sounds lovely but we'll get to that in a second so yeah this has got a 5 speed manual um, obviously with the engine being behind us that means the gearbox is behind us as well which can mean in older cars this is obviously quite an old car 1979 to be exact you get a bit of play in the bushes and stuff but everything feels lovely and tight. We do have manual steering, that's why I'm currently working my arms quite hard, which is all good. The yeah, throttle response is lovely, all the linkages, again, because the engine's behind you, it's a bit of a further, uh, further route for those linkages to take, but they're all lovely and tight, adjusted nicely. And the gear shifts, it's quite hard to des describe in a Porsche. Um, I've driven 
couple of classic ones. Both of those have been quite good. And this one is very good. Um, I believe somebody must have rebuilt all the shifter linkage and everything, because literally, it's like butter, very good. Just a little bit of blip of the revs between, just to let the synchros catch up and drop it into the next gear. And the best way to describe a Porsche like this to drive is, it's one of those things that you need to experience because it's more, it's more of an event. It just, it just feels special. But like, does it feel special as a passenger, Scott? Very special. Oh, lovely. Um, but yeah, you just can't help but smile. It's one of those things you don't need to drive hard or kick its head in to coin the phrase. You just appreciate it. Like this just feels very special. The steering input is lovely. I can feel exactly what the wheels are doing again because it's manual. It's quite it's quite a short rack as well, which is which is great. More motor support derived bits. And yeah, the gripper diff, that feels lovely. It's not clunky or anything. Bilstein coilovers, really good. Um, not sure how old they are, but yeah, just the turning and everything, the setup, uh, geometry wise on this just feels lovely. Clutch is lovely as well, like the biting point's exactly where you think it's going to be. There's no need to get used to it and stuff. Yeah, it's just really good. The, seat, the seats are very comfy as well. I'm not sure if they've been reupholstered or whether they're just really well looked after. They are leather, but they're like perforated in the base and the back, so there is a bit of breathability there, which is always good. And yeah, very nice Momo course steering wheel. Again, leather, which is in keeping with everything in here which it's just we used to say this in the old videos but it's, it's a very nice place to be isn't it Scott it is yeah and obviously with a half cage in the back and any Porsche 911 you're not going to be sitting in the back here so you don't you don't need seats if you want to be sitting in the back you ain't got legs or well, you're less than three years old so yeah little club sport cage in there carpeted out the whole thing together it's just it's just lovely I guess the next thing to do is Scott is to get it out onto the open road private little testing facility now to bring this out on some to some actual twisty roads here's a bend look Scott you're getting the bend amazing that's what we describe as twisty over here in uh, the UK but yeah to as I've already described this car it's like it's like an event to drive um, it's one of those things you don't need to kick its head in or be driving it flat out it's all about the experience like the feedback you get through all of the controls is just I'm going to say a word I don't like but there's no better way to describe it it's just sublime like the brake pedal feel is I can literally feel exactly what the pads are doing on the discs uh, this car in particular has got 993 four pots all around and through this pedal it's just such a good setup um, suspension wise we've got Bilstein's um, Bilstein coilovers adjustables um, and it's got a just a nice fast road set up on it so it's not too much camber so it's not tracking all over the road for the tram lining a um, little bit of caster which is if you if you know a bit about cars it's the caster on a Porsche that makes the turning and everything feel so so good so yeah talking about feeling good the steering feedback is just absolutely perfect absolutely perfect I sound like I'm gushing that's again every car we do Scott I just seem to fall in love with but yeah this they're just epic and to think that this car is over 40 years old it's just insane and for it to feel feel like this and then you get those perfect that perfect s bend where you set it up on the way in hit the apex on the first sets you up for the second corner hit the apex on the second it's just amazing it's just so rewarding and then the best way to, best word to describe it is it's just absolutely lovely really nice but 
obviously the flat six is very good, isn't it, Scott? So we need to hear it. So we go down a few cogs. Oh, feed it in. We've got to get it right up in the rev range. There it is. And talking of words, I'm going to use the word howl. When these flat sixes get up into that hot spot where all the power is, they just open and they just give this such a good... I don't know what word to use for that. It's my brain dead today, so I don't know. back from our little jolly did you have a nice time scott i had a lovely time as well very good i'm in our private test facility and this is a moment in the show where we do some numbers we do some scores so where 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 does it come on the tally of goodness so we start off with appearance this is high but it could be higher eight out of ten the only reason it's not higher is because this particular variant they did a turbo version which had wide arches who doesn't like wide things i mean on a porsche it looks unreal that's why you get the ralvelt ones the rwbs but it is incredibly pretty and i love the look of it i know scott does because he's been taking pictures on his phone so yeah a very very strong eight out of ten obviously could be higher a bit wider but eight out of ten i think is more than justified usability Again, this is high, eight out of 10, because you can drive it gently, you can go to the shops, because you've got a little bit of luggage room here. Obviously, without the rear seats, you've got, you could call that luggage space as well. But it is a two-seater, but if you're a single person like me, that's fine. It's only yourself you've got to worry about. But again, that could be higher. And as we've said in previous episodes, heat is quite a factor. Obviously, we've got global warming now. Today's a very hot day and it's quite warm in there. So I could do with some extra fans or even some aircon. Well, I'm not really fussed about that. But yeah, just some extra fans would make it a bit more comfortable and push that up a little bit more. Driving experience. Nine out of ten. We've hit the nines. Just because... Hopefully this come across okay. Uh, trying to explain what something like this is like to drive. Because it's just the whole feel of it. Um, everything put together the steering feel the drama as you stitch corners together the look of it like when you see the reflection of it in a window other people's reactions as well it just makes the whole experience top tier so yes a nine out of ten value this is a bit lower let me explain so we've gone for seven out of ten on this me and scott have both deferred on this we've both put our own into this but yeah seven out of ten because something like this is eighty-five thousand pounds or above um that's a lot of money which means that's out of reach for a lot of people um so yeah seven out of ten but because it's a porsche because it is what it is if you had 85 grand all around that mark and put it into something like this it's only going to appreciate it's an investment it is only going to go up so it's not it's not dead money it's it's valid but yeah it's out of reach for a lot of people so overall that gives us a very very strong eight out of ten and today filming this has been incredible i know scott's had a nice time i've had an exceptionally nice time and i hope you've enjoyed can't even talk now enjoyed watching this um let us know if there's anything on the site that you want to see us do a review on thank you very much for watching i'm simon that's scott and this is the lovely porsche which you could win very shortly well it's probably already gone now but um yes follow us at dream car giveaways on instagram follow me cy bucknell and yeah we'll see you on the next one thanks guys <laughs>